Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, we are here to talk about the brand new Wayne Goss Nude Luxury Lip Collection. There are eight lipsticks in total, new nude shades, and three new nude liners. Say that 10 times fast. And I purchased all of them. Okay, a bit excessive, but I did. I purchased all of them because I am always looking for the perfect nude lip shade and I knew I would find it and then some in this collection. If you remember Wayne Goss's first release of his luxury cream lipsticks, this is the same formula and same packaging, that really nice sleek black package that just kind of snaps really nice and tightly closed and is nice and compact, fits in my drawers so easily. Believe it or not, that's a thing that I appreciate. Not only do we have the same formulas and the same comfort, they're creamy, they're dreamy, they don't sink into lip lines. Sometimes, especially when we get um, some of the darker shades, um, the nude, kind of neutral darker shades, um, or even reds, you have lip lines that you didn't even realize you had, right? All of a sudden you're, you smile and there's all these lines that doesn't happen with Wayne Goss lipsticks. He really takes everything into consideration from the types of skin to the age of the client, maturity level, young, older, doesn't matter. All of these sit so comfortably. And I tried on all eight, you're gonna see in just a moment, and all three liners. And usually that is quite a painful process for somebody making a makeup video. This wasn't, it got more comfy as it went on. Each one that I took off, my lips felt nourished and creamy. It's just really, really nice. I am pretty darn impressed. And what's exciting about this is that even the lighter shades that would normally give you concealer lips actually kind of work for that type of look. What am I wearing right now? Well, um, I'll tell you in a minute. It's a little bit of an interesting combination that you might not have thought of. But first, I actually wanna show you an arm swatch of all eight lipsticks and all three liners. So let's take a look at that first together before we go to the lip swatches. So take a look here, we have all shades. Starting from the left is Cashew, that's a lighter shade, Macadamia, followed by Nutmeg, Hazelnut, Pecan, Walnut, chestnut and cocoa. And then all three of the liners are right there. Light nude, medium nude, and deep nude liners. All lined up right there. Um, how do you pronounce pecan? Is it pecan or pecan? It's like in Great Britain, the scone versus scone debate. How we pronounce it just kind of depends where we were raised in the United States. So I'm gonna say pecan, and you're free to disagree with me in the comments, that's just fine. What am I wearing right now? Well, this might surprise you. I am actually wearing the Deep Liner with Wayne's Cherry Blossom Gloss. Because when I saw Wayne Goss introduce this collection, he promised, and he was right, that all of the existing glosses, there weren't too, too many glosses, but all the existing glosses would also work with this collection, and that is what I did here. I love nothing more, though I do love the creamy lipsticks, of course, I love nothing more on a day-to-day -day basis than just filling in my lips with a liner and putting a gloss over it. So I tried it, and this is the Deep Nude Liner with Cherry Blossom Gloss. I love it. What I'm gonna do here in the demo, we're gonna go to a demo where I get to make all my silly faces to music. You know I love it, it's my runway moment. <laughs> runaway moment maybe, but my moment. I am gonna show you all of these. Now what I have done here is I have tried to go from what I see as the lightest, palest shade, all the way to the deepest, darkest. Then I'm gonna model, as best I can, all three liners on their own. Now, I don't have any liners under the lipstick, and I think some of the paler shades on me certainly would need a liner or a gloss over the top, but I did not do that. I just kind of, they're kind of unadulterated, so you can see them on my light, medium skin tone. It goes from lightest to darkest, and then each of the three liners nothing over any of them, nothing under any of them. You're gonna just see them just how Wayne Goss intended them. I almost said nature intended them, but how Wayne Goss intended them. Take a look right now.
okay, what did you think? I wanna go over some prices with you as well. If you do what I did, cause I'm just that side of crazy, I got the entire collection. That is eight lipsticks and three liners. That's $266. It's a lot of nude lipstick. I'm gonna use it all. If you just wanna buy the liners only, just the collection of those uh, three liners, they're $42, or individually you can pick up a liner for $14 a piece. The lipsticks only, just all eight lipsticks, are $224. All of these are at Beautylish, and individually they're $28 each. They are the same finish and same comfort level as Wayne Goss's original lipstick, cream lipstick collection, if you tried that. These are all at Beautylish, and I have them all linked below for you to grab easily. Um, and at time of filming, they are still in stock and there for you if you are interested. What did you think? Um, I know I'm kind of crazy to get all of them, but I'm just really a sucker for a nude lipstick. What are my favorites? My favorite are all three liners, because I just told you I'm just bonkers for liners. I love them. Of the lipsticks, I really love them all, but um, I kind of like Cashew. That's going to surprise you, that lightest shade, because I can really do something with Cashew or even Macadamia um, with a liner, and uh, it's got enough interest to it that it's not concealer lips. And then, of course, I do love Pecan, Walnut, and Chestnut. Kind of a sucker for Cocoa, too. There's something really vampy about this, and this with Cocoa. Oh, like with a black dress. Oh my goodness, I wanna start going out again. I'm ready, absolutely beautiful. So I would love to know what your thoughts are on this collection. Which did you pick up if you picked and chose which ones? I don't blame you, it, prices do add up. So I would love to hear what your thinking is on it and what you got. So leave me those comments below. Tell me what your favorite was on me that will help me decide which ones I should wear first and in upcoming videos, you'll certainly be seeing a lot of them because I'm really excited to use them. Leave your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And hey, if you haven't already done so, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.